Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time, you know, stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, it is such a blessing and a privilege to be able to relate with my extended family, knowing that we're all going through crazy situations and heading towards many levels. But knowing, you know, these these trying times are going to bring out a, a really great outcome. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and if you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or just good information you would love to share with a loved one or a friend please go ahead and share um, you know, they might maybe want to do some trying times and need validation or confirmation towards their life path or even their soul purpose. All right, add it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for the love and support. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate to, with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to 741 Hertz. Good night, sleep music full body detox cleanse aura and i will post that link in the description box below i love it because it has you know uh my favorite buddha on there he's just standing there with his hand up like this so it's just like you know it's, it's a good thing you always bring me calm vibe you know really calming vibes when i see him um in my video today is like twin flame 101 hey Ocus, we are the type with no labels no instructions so don't allow someone to place you in a box because you don't belong there you don't i don't like labels i don't know about you i don't like labels you know even though it's just like when it comes to like my spirituality i like to say okay yeah i'm a hey Oka. Uh, and all the things that comes along with it. But it's just like when it comes to the, you know, when you had to work and it's just like, I used to hate it when they have you in a box, like a census test, like, what is your, you know, your ethnic background? I'm like, I'm freaking human. You know, what does it matter while I'm answering these things? I used to think those were so stupid, especially those census tests. I used to get so aggravated with that. I said, is my answer going to be right or wrong just because of the color or the nationality I am? I said, I really hate it when people ask stuff like that. That's so stupid to me, you know, or when people you know i just really feel like when it comes to certain rules now i understand it's just the, the safety of others and stuff like that but it's just like oh you need to you know i was at jobs where oh you need to cover up your tattoos or you can't have this hair color and i mean i can see if you're walking around with green hair or something like that but you know just certain things i remember they i, I used to get mad i said is it the fact that y'all trying to control somebody i can see if somebody came in here with oscar the grouch looking hair or you know like uh blue or something like that but if it, it's just like something that is just like is pretty but it's not you know loud or anything like that they used to do stuff like that but it was just only i can see somebody else doing it and if they were like uh they didn't really take care of their stuff they wouldn't care but if it's somebody who's very immaculate about the way they look and stuff like that they used to pick pick with me about certain stuff like that and i'm just like y'all are doing this just because number one i'm new and i you know i keep my you know keep my appearance up and y'all didn't like that that was a threat to people so it was just like i used to constantly get into you know arguments about you know certain stuff when i was at you know a job or whatever so it just got on my nerves but it's just like you know i've met people that try to tell me oh you're this you're that you're this you're that and i'm just like are, are you applying this to yourself or are you just trying to say you know because i've met people and i went on one-on-ones with them and i said why do you feel like you can't do this and the same thing they were preaching to me they weren't going by their own stuff i said oh so like the stuff you were telling me right and they got real quiet you can hear a daggone mice peeing on cotton the way how quiet it got <laughs> when they were trying to preach towards me about certain things that used to make me mad like rosalyn you just need to let this go rosalyn you you just holding on to this too much or rosalyn you're doing that and as soon as the situation i said and it's quick how god will just place you in a certain situation where they where you were trying to judge somebody else and they put you in that certain situation and you were just egging at it egging at it. and i'm telling them oh you need to let go of this oh you holding on to this too tight or you need to let go of this they didn't like it when i did that to them 
I said, just be amazing how you should never judge anybody. Just like I try to tell people, if I've never been in a situation I'm like, oh, I'm not the right one to ask because I've never been in a situation like that. I said, I can't even imagine. And I would be like that. I said, well, try to heal the best way you know how. That's how I try to tell somebody. I don't let them know that, like, hey, you need to let go of this. or Because if I have never been in no situation like that, I'd be dag if I give you some advice on it. You never should give somebody you know, advice to something they've never been through. If you never had that happen, don't ever try to sit up here and give somebody some advice. And that's what some people did to me until it came to them and I ended up showing out on them. But it's like, it's all, everything is always a learning process. You should never label yourself. You know, it's, you, it's just like a lot of times, like when we're going through our spiritual awakenings, some people want to go to therapists, some people want to go to the hospital because they think in their life is... You know, they go evaluate their mental health and stuff like that. And it's just doctors, these coops will sit up here and label you, label you with a lot of things and not realizing that you're an empath. You know, like I say to anybody, if you want to go see, if you're an empath or you're spiritually gifted, go to somebody. They they need to, if you can get like a therapist like Ralph Smart or something like that, hey, that that is perfect. Like right down your alley because, see, he's an empath. You should never get with somebody who is not awake in that awakened state and they're trying to tell you about something because they will label you and probably lock your butt up for a good minute. That's why I say be careful what kind of therapist you go see because if they're not spiritually in tune, they'll, I'm, I'm telling you, they'll sit up here and be like, oh, Lord, yep. Yeah. Go ahead. They ain't getting out for a good minute, you know, and then you're labeling yourself like that because sometimes, I mean, I went, I went to mental health and it made me feel a lot better, but it allowed me to know that the situations I was in, you know, it wasn't because of me. It was because of my family. So, you know, it was just like, you know, they were like, oh, we want to have a group and this and this now. So I'm telling you, they ain't coming. And they're the type of people, they will put, you know, they will put you in certain situations to make you question your existence. But when they have somebody else tell them about themselves, mm -hmm. then I had like three therapists to try to tell them they play judge and uh, judge and try to play God with my life. And they didn't like that because when somebody wasn't on their side and they, they know they can do that, they can pull wool over other people's eyes and convince them that they're high and mighty. But when them therapists call their asses out, oh, shoot, they hurried up. Class is dismissed. No, because you're not on my side, so I'm not going to see you. And then when they start crying and about to tell on them, like, what are you doing to this girl? What are you hiding from her? Because it seems like you're hiding something from her and you're punishing her for something that has nothing to do with her. Now, all of a sudden, when they when they start crying about to get to the truth, they, they made sure they got up out of that real quick. So it's just like you have to really be careful about what kind of person that you go talk to if you really feel like you need to go get yourself mentally evaluated you know there ain't nothing wrong with that there is nothing wrong with that don't tell anybody hey if you feel like you're the one who flew over the cuckoo's nest hey go ahead more power to you but make sure it's somebody spiritually inclined that knows how to deal with somebody like you because people tell me rosa you should be a therapist no i shouldn't I can go by what I went through. I can be an advocate, but there's no way, you know, I haven't been to school for all that kind of stuff. So I, there's certain people that has came across my way and I ain't even know how to deal with them because some of them, I'm like, ooh, 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 I ain't about to touch that, no. Because <laughs> some of them sound like they need to be locked up somewhere. I've had people come up on me like that and I'm just like, I'm so lost. I don't even know how to get you. I don't. <laughs> I really don't but it's just like some people I can get there are some people I mean it's probably about like a handful probably about one or two people that really like I, I, I didn't even know how to approach them about stuff because they were really talking like you know like Brad Pitt from that movie uh, 12 Monkeys like past him you know and he was already cockeyed and crazy and everything else but it was just like you know he was way past that it was way way past that because there are certain things i can you know i'm like oh okay i can understand what brad pitt talking about but then when you go way past that and you leave you got a question mark on your face like okay <laughs> so let me go ahead and turn the page because i don't even know how to approach that but you go ahead but don't allow somebody to place you in a mental box or even a label because we don't have instructions it's just, just like with us being hey okas we tend to shock people just by the crazy stuff that come out of our mouth and they ain't even really crazy it'll just probably be like did they just say that yes i did <laughs> I was like yes i did and i can say that with a straight face like yes i did 
Yes, I really did. And were, like a lot of people were just, and they would bust out laughing because they were like, you know, I say, I say a lot of things that people think. And I said, don't be sitting up here thinking, saying that you didn't think that. You just didn't want to say it out loud. And I'm that advocate that will say it out loud. I don't sit up here at my own job, and it was so funny because this woman, she looked like big, this story time, a little short, little short thing. I was working for a mess hall where you, you know, you feed the military uh, soldiers and stuff like that. And there was this woman, I always call her Big Mama because she looked like Big Mama from, I mean, hair and everything, wide and all off sides. And she was just like, she was already a preacher, called herself a preacher, but just insulted anybody. I said, you... I don't deal with Bible thumpers. There's a difference between Christians and Bible thumpers. The ones that sit up here and just talk about everybody like a dog. I'm like, this is what not. This is not something that God created you to be like. If you're supposed to be Christ-like, but she was like that, and she act like Big Mama, like Martin played. And it's just like when she would, she'd be mad if she, you intimidate her. She had a bad feeling on talking back. T talking down to you, make you feel bad or whatever. And it was one girl that was constantly working on everybody. Nerve. I said, look, don't be sitting up here making her mad because if you make her mad, she's going to work on everybody's nerves. And I, you know she's going to work on everybody's nerves. And everybody just walked off and started busting out laughing. I'm like, what? And I, and the woman looked at and she was standing right there. I said, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to her. And she looked, yeah, but you were talking to her about me. Yeah, I was, but I was talking to her. You know how she work on everybody's nerves, and you'll start working on everybody's nerves. And people are like, I said, you know what? I wish I, you know, if I would have said that out loud, they're like, Rosalind, you did say that out loud. That's why we walked off and laughed at you. <laughs> because the woman was so pissed when I did that. I'm like, shoot, I was telling the truth because you know you worked everybody's nerve with her big mama looking ass, you know, and I used to say that. And it was like, I almost got into blows with this woman. And she, you know, she was like three of me, so... It was just like, they were like, Rosalind, we had to take you out the back door because you were about to slap her in the face with a frying pan. I was like, well, shoot, she made me snap. But, you know, but it was an interesting moment. They really had me on interesting moments. But, but y'all allow somebody. I said, don't be trying to slap nobody with no uh, frying pan either. But <laughs> don't do that. But don't allow people to put you in a, in a, in a, in a, in a box. You don't need to be in a box. You're the type of person that will never fit in with nobody except a bunch of Dag on crazy hayokas. Because we crazy like that. That's where you need to be with the rest of us hayokas. Because we can entertain each other. You're out here to mirror people. <laughs> You're out here to allow people to see their flaws and be comfortable with them. But learn how to be able to correct them at the same time. So if people just don't get you, hey, that means that they're not fully awakened. But do not allow people to label you or put you in a box that you truly don't belong in. <laughs> So, you know, meant for that, I said I went way off, but it's just the whole point. I had to give y'all a point and something to laugh at because I really thought that situation was funny. I have a whole bunch of different situations, but it ain't time for all that. But I hope you were able to uh, re you know, say regulate, resonate <laughs> with <laughs> Right, resonate with this video. Drop me a line and tell me your, your you know, your story or even, you know, allow tell me if somebody tried to put you in a box or how you felt about that remember like and subscribe even hit that notification bell drop me a line so i can give you a post notification shout out and i hope y'all have a blessed rate remainder of your week this is almost over thank you jesus yeah like i told you i had to take off two days because i had to do some self-care for myself but post notification shout out goes to uh zoo scott uh Stacey Folly and Ray Kuvon, much love to you, and I will see you on my next video. Send out as much love and light as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always a mic praying out your better days. Much love, peace, and be wild.